Hi guys, my friend Stephanie over at Tubal Reversal Mom just tagged me to do the secret life of a YouTuber tag. So because I have a weird obsession with trying to get tags done like as soon as I'm tagged, I'm going to sit down and film this during Lucy's nap instead of um, sweeping and mopping the floors because I didn't really want to do that anyway. So this is a good excuse. So let's just dive right in. I remember some of the questions from just watching her video, but not all of them. How long have you been on YouTube? Um, I think my first video went up in like 2013 or so, but I wasn't consistent at all then. I really started being consistent when I was pregnant with Lucy, um, starting in like March of 2015, so that's been like a year and a half. At what point do you think you will stop? Um, I don't know. As long as YouTube continues to be fun, I'll continue to do it. Um, I also don't know how much of Lucy will end up being on YouTube full time. Like, um... I don't know, like right now, obviously she doesn't care, but if she gets to the point where she doesn't want to be in videos and stuff, that's something that I'm already thinking about. Like, I would never want to put her out there if she doesn't want to be. I don't know. We'll see what happens over the next few years. Um, what is the best thing about YouTube? Hands down, community and advice. Um, I can say, you know, like Lucy was having trouble with solid food. She just didn't like anything. And I'll mention it in a video and get a million different ideas and so I can try all of them. Same with breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is like super new to me. I can ask for advice. People will give me advice. For amber teething necklace, I asked for advice about um, uh, brands and stuff and people were able to tell me. it Absolutely. I love being able to have access to so many different, like more experienced moms and a bunch of different opinions so I can try out all the different things. It's awesome to have all the advice and all the friends. Um, how, oh wait, what is the worst thing about YouTube? <sighs> Making thumbnails. <laughs> like that is my number one thing that I hate. And then obviously sometimes you get judgment, but to be truthful, I get judgment like in my real life all the time. So I'm pretty used to it and I just don't care. So I mean, it's a bummer, but I don't care that much. How many thumbnail options do you usually take? Oh. I hate making thumbnails so, so, so much. Like, it's so dumb. It's not that difficult, but it's just, like, the one thing I hate. So, a lot of times, and you can tell how lazy I was being, whether or not I actually made a thumbnail. If I make a thumbnail, there's only one option. Like, I don't do multiple ones. I just hate doing it, so I don't do more than I have to. But a lot of times, if I'm being lazy, you'll see it'll just be whatever one YouTube takes. Um, who is your YouTube crush? Um, I don't know. I mean, I watch a lot of women. Is that weird? Paula, do you want to be my YouTube crush? I think Paula from It Started With Jude is my YouTube crush. Um, who is on your collab wish list? I don't know. I don't do a ton of collabs. I do, like, I've done some box swaps, and that's really fun. And I've got another one planned for, like, the fall with somebody, and that's really exciting. But I haven't done a ton of, like, just collab videos. I do the Coffee Date Thursdays every week. Well most weeks. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It would be cool to collab with maybe somebody with like older kids and we could talk about like our routines and how they're different or something. I don't know. I, I haven't really given a lot of thought to collabs. Um, what are you wearing on your bottom half? I'm almost always fully dressed like every day. Today I'm wearing denim shorts. <laughs> um, usually I'm fully dressed. Um, just because there are people that like drop by my house all the time and stuff, so I don't usually wear like pajama pants and a top to film. Um, but sometimes you'll catch, like I don't, again, I don't care. I, I have no shame. I've worn like pajamas in some of my pregnancy updates, and you've seen it when I like stand up show my belly. I've worn like cheesy um, cartoon t-shirts. <laughs> That's what I should do. I should start wearing all my like random t-shirts, and if you can name the TV show it's from, like you get a prize or something, you pat on the back, I don't know. But I have no shame. You would know if I was wearing pajamas. Um, what, how long until you actually click record? Oh, immediately. That's how I end up with a lot of bloopers. And if I'm not too lazy, I'll put them in at the end. Um, I hit record immediately and it captures whatever it captures. And then sometimes I'll like restart it because I don't want to have to like jump in five minutes if it's taking me that long to get my stuff together to like know where to start the video. But in general, I just click record right away and everything gets caught on camera and I just delete it later. Um, how do you feel about the YouTube community culture? I love it. Like I mentioned, it's a great place to come to for advice. 
um, as a new mom, it's been an amazing tool, um, especially since in my area, I don't have a lot of friends that like breastfeed and cloth diaper and um, teething, all kinds of stuff I've been able to ask for advice on and I absolutely love it. And everybody's been super supportive and um, super nice and, and always had great things to say. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? I don't know how successful my YouTube channel is, um, but the things I always say when people ask me what advice I have to start a channel is, number one, be consistent, and number two, don't be afraid to like just dive right into the community, like comment and be a part of the community. But um, another one that Stephanie mentioned that is absolutely true is just be yourself. There's um, a million people trying to be perfect, and everybody is is different and that's what makes you you so just be yourself don't be fake don't be ashamed of things it is what it is and just be yourself and that's that's what people will respond to um who do you tag so I'm definitely gonna tag my friend Paula from it started with Jude and um I think I will also tag Jessica from our Smith nest I should have messaged her and asked her if it was okay if I tagged her I messaged Paula I never want to like spring it on people but um yeah Jessica is also on YouTube and she's just kind of um, making a comeback. She took a break for a while and she's right now uploading like these flashback videos of her daughter Aubrey who was born in September also. So I've been watching a bunch of those and like crying about how much our little girls have grown up already. And then you guys have definitely heard me talk about Paula before. Um, she's one of my best friends from YouTube. Well, just one of my best friends in general. We talk to each other almost every single day. Um, this morning she let me in on a sale at the children's place and I totally ordered stuff. Um, yeah, so Paula's awesome. Her channel, it started with Jude. She's got twins who are a month older than Lucy. So they're going to be a, mo a year old next month. And um, Jude, who's about to turn four or five, I always forget. I'm terrible. But Jude is the cutest. He's a crack up. So you should check both of those channels out. I will leave them linked down below. And I can't wait to see what their answers are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So yeah, like I said, it's one size, 10 to 35 pounds. Inside here, we have two soakers. This is the large soaker and that one snaps right on to the shell itself. It's got a snap back here. And a smaller 